What are some of the most common signs and symptoms of Lyme disease and the co-infections that come with Lyme disease? With acute infections, you're going to present with flu-like and then perhaps the rash. A chronic, which can present anywhere from weeks to months to years after the acute infection, um, you're going to see uh, neurological problems, you're going to see muscle weakness, joint pain, just very vague symptoms that actually, you know, Lyme disease is called the great imitator right, because right. it can mimic so many other autoimmune diseases like lupus and MS. And, um, and because people think, oh, it's caused by a deer tick, right. I'm not going to get that. You know, I'm not anywhere right. near deer, but that's such a misconception and that's one of the problems. I mean, everything that you're describing, I'm just thinking of, you know, pa patients I've worked with over the years that present with, with those types of things that present with fibromyalgia type symptoms, or like you said, chronic fatigue, or autoimmune, or RA, or lupus, or those types of autoimmune issues, that then they're left saying, well, I don't really know what's wrong, so you must have fibromyalgia. Correct. Or that you must have some autoimmune issue, I'm not really sure. Here, take some meds for the symptoms, and let's say someone has fatigue, or let's say, let's say they have just some aches and pains, well, here, take some NSAIDs, or, or take some, some pain reliever. We see that a lot. Um, the Lyme patients that I see have been to over a couple of dozen practitioners before, and they've usually diagnosed themselves. Um, and they've usually come in with these diagnoses, fibromyalgia, lupus. Then there's the autoimmune diseases that we can't put in a, a specific category. They just said your, your, you know, your testing show that you have some sort of autoimmune issue, but we really don't know what it is. I'm, I'm suspicious for Lyme and its co-infections. Right. Our immune system helps create these matrices of um, extracellular material and these organisms can adhere to these matrix matrices and and then there's enzymes in those matrices matrices that these um, organisms feed on they can live there and they can and they it's in nervous tissue as I said the heart um, there's Lyme um, pericarditis and Lyme carditis and what they do is our immune system is unable to find them in these tissues. And so they can hide out there. And I think scientists have actually called these biofilms the most successful uh, organisms on the planet.